Yeah. Hey, good to see you. I was just I was just scuba diving over there looking for tech news and Yeah, I'm really glad that I'm up here now because it it is gross it over is there. Gross. I'll agree there. A year and a half after being banned from the iOS app store, Fortnite is finally coming back to the iPhone. Yeah! Sort of. See, relations between Apple and Epic Games are still as hostile as ever, so Epic has made a deal with NVIDIA to stream the mobile version of Fortnite through GeForce Now, which is possible using a web app in the iOS Safari browser. So it's less that the game is back on the iPhone and more like it's kind of squeezed itself in through the doggy door. But you think that matters to the poor iPhone gamers who've been stuck in a depressive spiral since August 2020? No. Although there are probably some other factors at play here too. Although the game has remained accessible on non-iPhones as a direct download this whole time, Android users will also be able to stream the game through the GeForce Now app if they sign up for the closed beta. iOS users though, it's Safari. Classic streamlined Apple simplicity, it just works. Play the game by streaming it on a website through a web browser instead of using a clunky old app. Yeah, Revolutionary. We, we I love it. it In other NVIDIA news, the company's CFO, Colette Kress, has told multiple outlets that Team Green expects the GPU shortage to get better in the second half of 2022. Is it because they saw it in their orb? The Dark Lord! Or is it because there are competitors coming that are actually gonna, like, manufacture mainstream cards? Hey. I don't know. Team Blue. While Cress has claimed that NVIDIA expects a better supply situation for their own GPUs should be taken with a grain of salt, as everything should be when it's in vague corporatese language, some Chinese media outlets have reported larger numbers of RTX 3050 cards being distributed to board partners. It also makes sense to remain skeptical that the shortage will ever end as long as crypto mining is a thing. Um, I don't know what the asteroid line is about, but good job, Riley. That'll end crypto mining. Mm. And Russia has done the world a solid, claiming to have neutralized notorious ransomware gang Re-Evil. The FSB said it arrested 14 members of the group, which were responsible for, among other things, hacking the world's largest meat supplier and software infrastructure company Kaseya last year. Those are two separate companies, not the same company that is in meat and software. Luckily, nothing ended up happening to the meat. Yay! Unfortunately, the same day that Russia announced the arrests, the company was accused of orchestrating a massive cyber attack that took down multiple Ukrainian government websites where the hackers left anti Ukraine messages. This attack comes in the midst of other accusations that Russia is preparing a real invasion of Ukraine, which would definitely offset any positive solids that Russia did by arresting the ransomware gang. You know, you know I'm just gonna have to take that back. Yeah, Russia, but... you're back to square one with me. Yep. Maybe even in the negatives. They, they, it's like they don't know the point system. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Brilliant, the easy way to learn new things as part of your New Year's resolution. What do you mean you already forgot about that? See, Brilliant's already helping your brain. <laughs> Brilliant makes learning STEM concepts with dense sounding names like algorithm fundamentals and scientific thinking accessible and fun because it uses active learning with engaging problems to solve and interactive visual concepts to play with. There's no harsh grading, long lectures, or strict time limits because this isn't Miss Parsons grade six class, it's bloody brilliant! So crush your 2022 goals and use the link below to join Brilliant's community of eight million learners and educators today. And the first 200 people can save 20% off a year of STEM learning. Brilliant.org slash techlinked, get smart. Butt quacks are best when they're fresh out of the oven. Not too crispy, you gotta let them cool a little. Yeah, I've burned one too many times. The Log4j vulnerability discovered about a month ago was so bad and widespread that the White House held a meeting yesterday, a month after, to talk about how open source software needs better security. Well, Google seems to think it's the government's job to do something about it, since many federal infrastructure systems rely on open source projects that are often maintained on a volunteer basis. So going forward, all open source developers will be officially employees of the US federal government. Yeah. Problem solved, right? Oh, easy. A few days after AMD said they're looking into adding support for Ryzen 5000 series CPUs on older X370 motherboards, ASRock has come out and done just that exact thing. A BIOS update for the company's X370 Pro 4 adds Ryzen 5000 support, although it does remove support for AMD's Bristol Ridge APUs because you can't have it all. I mean, what's next? You wanna plug an SSD into your CPU socket? Get over yourself. I've already done it. 
A couple of high profile tech products are getting kicked like cans down the road a little bit, as a couple of reports indicate that both Apple's AR headset and Tesla's Cybertruck has been delayed to 2023. Not the Cybertruck! No! I wanted it! This is frankly completely unsurprising given that there is very little evidence that either of those are actually real. I mean, the Cybertruck's windows appeared to be real during that demo where they shattered, but the rest of the truck could have been cardboard for all we know. When you dig for the evidence. That's why the rest didn't shatter. Oh! It's cardboard. And they're on the moon! And Twitter founder and outspoken NFT bro Jack Dorsey's new crypto-focused company, Block, has announced that they are building an open Bitcoin mining system that decentralizes mining, making it more distributed and efficient by apparently making it a lot easier for anyone anywhere to easily purchase a mining... <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? I mean, isn't this the main concern that people have with crypto? The amount of people already mining? Well, we have to decentralize this? To it's it, all- to give it to the people, It's eh? already decentralized. That's the whole point. They can fix it. And this week, Microsoft shut down the original Halo 3 servers that were used when the game first launched on Xbox 360 way back in 2007. And people online are very sad about it because those servers represent precious memories. Like all those times you hurled Joe Mama jokes and hateful slurs at strangers through Xbox Live and Joe Mama jokes? and squatted, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, gotcha. And it squatted over them. Yeah, they, they hear it, they hear it through the mic. Thankfully, a gaming group was able to help one player, Fishy956, get in one final Halo 3 achievement before the server shut down for good, which I guess made them feel nice, Are probably. I'd feel nice if you came back on Monday for more tech news because it'll make wading through the detritus of the internet over there much more worthwhile. Mm. There's gotta be something we can do about that. Decentralize it. Decentralize yeah, it. We're good. Make it easier for everyone to buy one.